So in this demonstration, we're going to see what happens to a bell inside a vacuum jar. So let's think about what actually makes the sound. When I connect this wire here, there is a hammer inside this jar and that hammer hits the bell, causing the bell to vibrate. When I unhook it, the hammer stops hitting it. So let's think about what happens to those sound waves. When the bell itself vibrates, the bell pushes against the one thing touching it, the air underneath the jar. So the vibrating bell pushes against the air underneath the jar, causing the air underneath the jar to vibrate. Then the vibrating uh, air underneath the jar pushes against the jar itself, causing the jar to vibrate. Then the jar pushes against all the air outside the jar, causing the air outside the jar to vibrate. And finally, the air outside the jar pushes against your eardrum, causing it to vibrate, which your brain can detect. So all these sound waves carried from the vibrating bell have to travel from the bell to the air inside the jar, to the jar, to the air outside the jar, to your eardrum. That's quite a trip. Well, let's see what happens when we remove the air here. This thing over here is called a vacuum pump. So when I turn it on, uh, it will gradually remove the air inside the jar. And I want you to see if you notice any change to the sound of the bell after the air has been removed. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna hook this on and leave it ringing. And let's see what happens to the sound of the bell. Well, right now I can see that hammer moving, but I can't hear the bell even when I'm standing right next to it. In fact, I can't hear very much at all. On the other hand, what I can do is I can let the air back in and then now I can hear the bell just fine again. What this demonstration tells us is that the sound from the bell cannot travel through empty space. When we remove all the air underneath this jar, the vibrating bell pushes against nothing and the sound waves stop. When the air is in the jar, the vibrating bell can push against the air and inside the jar and the sound waves are able to travel all the way to my ear. What this tells you about sound waves is that they're a mechanical wave. Mechanical waves are waves, like sound, that can only travel through matter but cannot travel through empty space. What this also tells you is that if you are in a, somewhere with no air, like say outer space, you can't hear sounds because there's no matter for the sound waves to travel through.